hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am going through some interesting concept called as parallel development in pega so if you are having a team and uh, multiple team members are working on your application so how we will actually control rules and how we will maintain versions and how uh, we are going to deal with a live scenario like if a same rule is needed by two developers at a time so all those things we can achieve in pega so let's get into the topic first of all as i have said all the rules will be saved in rule sets for example zmart is a rule set here i have opened this and i can see i have logged this zmart rule set now i can see how many rules are there i now i'm going to pick one rule from this rule set i have picked this flow it was in zmart 01101 you can we are having three options like save as actions private edit right so you can see here create a private edit of copying of editing if you want to do some changes and if you want to test only for your operator then go for this option private edit undo and what is this checking so whenever a rule is there and you are going to do some changes and if you don't want to commit it to the database see whatever rule you do and whatever changes you do on the rule we need to save that to our database uh, precisely so here i don't want uh, the changes that i have done for this rule so i'm doing discard i'm discarding the rule and i can see only private edit option now i'm going to the rule set i'm unlocking it i'm saving it i'm opening the same flow from here see now i can see checkout suppose if our rule set is not logged anyone can do checkout and they can do whatever they want due to this we might lose the changes for example person a is there and person b is there they both uh, want only one rule to do the change now person a goes here and uh, checkouts and do some changes over here like uh, person a has given this changes okay and person here directly checks in rule set now before doing that if person b has saved this respective flow uh, in his version or in his branch then we will be missing this so we should be careful that every time our rule set should be locked now you can see right checkout means it's useful for editing and now i'm doing save i'm again i'm doing a check-in and while checking you have to give comments what is the use of it i will uh, show you now i'm telling check into update history tab now i checked in the changes now go to zmart log the application go to the flow do actions reverse see now you can't see checkout option why because i have logged the rule set i have said like i logged the rule set now if a developer wants to do some changes what he can do or what the respective user can do if you do private edit and again you want to check in it is asking there are no unlocked rule sets so they can't select this for that purpose and for at a time if suppose if i have done this private edit uh, again i'm unlocking our rule set zoom out right refresh check out and i'm doing some changes over here but at the same time see this is operator id one at the same time i have another operator id who is also trying to do changes on this flow this is another operator ready uh, you can check here this is zmart developer that is zmart administrator see if i want to do the changes i am being prevented why because there is a lock symbol if you click on this you will see see the record was checked out by zmart admin so until zmart admin user checks in the code you can't do any development on this even though if you try development on this and do some changes 
and check in the respect to the other user at the same time loses these uh, changes so for eradicating that pega has come up with a approach called as branches now i am discarding this locking it now go to your application definition i can see two branches right developer 2 developer 1 i am saving the application now this is developer 1 you do reactions refresh see now go here click check out to branch you can select your respective branch now i select a developer 1 this is in developer 1 now i am going here and again i am doing here check out to branch I selected developer 2 branch. Okay. See at a time both the users can do the changes. But there is a warning here. See. There will be a merge conflict. What is this merge? And you can see the same rule is available in developer 1 branch by this respective user. Now what I do is I am giving a change here. 89. 89 and I am checking in and justifying it as we will take care and 89 this is developer 2 now I am going to developer 1 and giving us 90 90 and checking in again I am giving some message right here also we got a warning like it was uh, being modified by developer 2 now developer 1 has completed the changes and developer 2 is at to complete the change if you see developer 1 has checked in the code so you can see right there are no checked out so developer 1 has checked in the code with default 90 our developer 2 is having same rule with the description as 89. Now how I will merge these changes to rule set. Right. So developer 1 has completed. What you do is go to branch. You see here actions merge. If you click merge it will be asking a confirmation. Now see you can see a warning over here like already this rule is, is available in another branch. Okay. Now if you want to create a new version in the same Zmart rule set you can specify that otherwise if you want to merge to the same version I am merging it. Before merging it hold on. See this is flow and if you want to see how many versions this particular flow has if you want to check click on actions view version see it was available in 01001 so whenever a rule is available in a rule set the highest uh, version we call it as trunk trunk version so this is developer 2 version developer 1 version now i'm going to open rule set version rule and see history is only default but our developer in developer 1 branch the rule have 90 in developer 2 branch we have as 89 you can check from here only see developer 2 see this is 89 same rule is there in developer 2 branch developer 1 branch and trunk version now what we are going to do we are going to merge this respect to branch for example developer 1 merge proceed and choosing same rules at version this is the lock that uh, I am using for locking the rule set click merge very good we have merged the rule now if you go go and refresh see no rules are there it is merged in zmart1 now if you go and refresh zmart1 see your changes are there 90 
so you have replaced your branch version into a rule set version now i am going with developer 2 now developer 2 also wants to merge the changes but what happened here already developer 1 has done the changes and developer 1 merged the changes i'm going for actions merge you see see there is a conflict conflict what it is saying a rule set in lower version has been updated more recently when checkout was created means i have saved this uh, particular flow before developer one has merged the changes so if i blindly select this option and merge then i will be losing developer developer one changes so you have to be so careful that we should not be missing any changes developed by any user in our application so you can see here right one conflict is present you can mark it as resolved if you are sure that you have already implemented the changes developed by developer one if not you should not be using this even though you submit it it won't allow because we have to resolve that conflict what we have to do we have to delete our version otherwise you have to contact the respective developer and you have to ask that uh, what are the changes you did so how you will know like which developer has done the changes because there will be many members in your team so you go here go to over and over and over because it's the latest version go to history scroll down see there is option called few fill history come here see there is zmart admin this is our check-in comments that we have used updated history tab so you know right which user has done that you will go and ask the respect to developer like what are the changes you done so that you will retrofit those and you can see here record has been merged from developer one branch to rule set right in our scenario we don't have any uh, major changes so i'm blindly merging our code from developer so I'm going here, developer to actions, merge, proceed, okay. Now you are going to merge in same rule set. You click on conflict, mark as well, submit. So what is this option? Suppose in previous scenario, I have merged the application without giving this. So that's why when I have again opened my Zmart application, I can't see this branch. If you want to keep your branch like that after merge also, you have to select this option. Otherwise, no need to select that. Now again, I'm giving password of my tool set. Doing a merge. See, now it is merged. Now, which is the latest uh, version that is merged in Zmart from developer to branch? So, you go to the rule in trunk version. Go actions. Refresh see 89 so you lost the changes of 90 so they while merging the code and doing changes in branches we have to make sure that we should not lose any user changes and if you go here again and click on view full history see now zima developer has merged the code you can see that right so this is about branches and merging the branches and what is the care you have to take while merging the branches suppose there are few rules in pega where you can compare what are the changes that are being done for example now i'm going to create an activity where I'm creating in developer 2 branch okay. Okay. I'm just giving this comment go to history give this now I'm going to developer 2 branch and I'm merging this to this version Okay. Now, as we have already uh, merged this and it's not 
available in branch it is showing like the rule is not available now i can go here i'm going to another dialog box i'm going to activate to test so this is it now i am checking out to branch and i am doing some change here this is a function in activity step i can use any one of these okay i'm creating a way so i'm just giving one i'm giving, giving some description right now you want to compare so what are the changes you done from trunk version to here go to actions compare with select the respective version see it is a uh, specific like there are 12 changes over there so like this you can compare rules and if you want to exit the compare you can click on this now i'm discarding this see as i did not check in the change my changes are gone that's why you have to be careful with check out check in discard options while working on some rules so as promised i have covered about rule check out check in and how to check rule history and how to log the rule sets and what is private edit and what is development in branch and how we will merge the branches hope this uh, clears many doubts of you now regarding parallel development in pega uh, please provide your valuable feedback and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned thank you